Some of the most fun that I personally have when editing is compositing. Compositing is when you take a bunch of elements and kind of put them on top of one another to create a scene. A lot of that is done using green screen or blue screen work. It's called chroma key. What I'd like you to do is go under your training content and you'll see a couple of clips of a girl dancing and this disco background. These were supplied to us by our friends over at videoblocks.com. They have a lot of great footage over there. You can download a bunch of free footage or sign up for their service. And we're going to drop the girl in green on top of the disco moving background. Double click on her clip, go under keyers, and you can see that it's already clipped out my green background, which happens to be my default color. Maybe your default color is blue screen. You can always use the color picker, and you can go over here and pick the color that you want to clip out. You see how I'm clipping out different colors of her? You could do that as well. So if you don't have a perfect green or blue background, use the color picker to choose your key color, and you'll get started there. What I want to do is clip out the green, and you can see that it's taken the green out. And now let's go ahead and turn off solo. And now I can see my disco. Okay, so you see a little bit of edges here. Now the way that you can tell how your key actually looks is to show key. And you can actually see that like in here, it should be all pure white. That means that it's perfectly protected underneath here. In this area right up here, you want to fill this in to where it's full white. Because right now, even though it's hard to tell when you're looking at the image moving, there's a little bit of transparency right here. We want to bring the softness possibly up a little bit. And you can see that some of that's disappearing. We sometimes can change the color tolerance, which means it's fine tuning the type of green that's here. Maybe there's a little bit of green. You see how it's going away? Right here, watch that. So what we did is we've kind of narrowed the green color itself. And you can bring up softness a little bit and spill suppression because you want a nice soft edge, not something that's real pixelated or harsh like this. You're going to bring softness up or down. You can see it makes a change. And then let's turn off show key. I want to see what it looks like. And we're getting better here, okay? So let's go ahead and play this. You can see a little bit of green in her. We want to bring that green tolerance down a little more. Change that to where it's not so obvious. Bring our softness down. Bring our spill suppression down a little bit. Chroma key is an imperfect science, so do the best that you can, but try to make sure that your background is even green, okay? No shadows, no dips. She's looking pretty good here. You've got a little bit of green here, but you're not going to notice that too much because you're not focused in on it. So it looks pretty good here. I want to add an effect to this. When she goes in front of that light... She's not breaking the light beams. You know how like you get aberrations and lens flares and stuff with a camera? You know, whenever you're focused on a bright white light like the sun, you get kind of streaks called lens flares. We want to add some sort of flare on the edge of her mat. So let's use one of the Red Giant tools called Shine, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to turn Solo back on so we can see more of her mat. This is a preset. I want to use something that's a little bit more subtle. Let's go down... Go down to Spirit and see how that looks. Okay, that's not bad. Let's go to another one and try something a little different called Mars. And let's go ahead and bring down the shine opacity so it's not quite so crazy on the edge. We want to turn this off. So we're deleting the keyframes. Let's bring this to the very beginning. Turn down that shine opacity again. It's automatically going to turn keyframes on for you, which you may not want. The idea being that you can keyframe the different intensities and opacities over a period of time. As she goes through this, watch the shimmer off the side of her mat. Pretty cool. And that'll look pretty good in front of that light. So let's turn off solo and watch her arms as she breaks the light beams. See it in here especially? I love what happens right there. You see right there on the left over the top of her head? I love the fact that that looks absolutely like there's a light shining behind her. And that's the idea behind good compositing, folks. 
is to make sure that it doesn't look flat. It's got depth, and this really helps it do that. So that's how you use chroma key, make some adjustments when you have an imperfect key, how to clip a different colored background. The idea is always pick a background that doesn't come anywhere near flesh tones or the colors that are in your clothes. So that's how you do chroma keys with a little extra effect on top.